Hi and welcome back to Cheeky Crypto. My name is Nick and today guys we're going to be jumping down into the world of VeChain, taking a look at what's been going on most recently and what I would expect to happen next. As I get into this video, if you find it useful and informative, hit the like button. I really do appreciate that if you happen to be new to the channel. Then why not go ahead and subscribe, tap the bell, uh, select all notifications and in doing so you'll be kept up to date with absolutely everything that we do here at Cheeky Crypto. Now, I'm still not uh, very well, so I'm going to try to keep this as brief as I can, but give you everything I think that you need to know. Um, so let's get into it, right? VeChain paired up with USDT on the hourly chart, Binance is the data source. And, um, you know, we were talking about invalidation and we saw that yesterday here, which basically means this is not a five wave move. And we can redraw this now as an A, B and C move. OK, and then obviously we have a move up, which is again not a five wave move, just a three wave move. Uh, so we have one, two and then we have three. So we have A, B and C. And then again, we're tracking down. So what I want to do is I'm going to remove this out and I'm going to I'm going to leave that in there for a second. Um, only big for, for a little second there, because essentially what we've got here, it might be that this is not a five wave move at all. OK, and it could be that this. Um, because of the structure of it as well, it might make a little bit more sense if we actually go with a W, X, Y, X, Z like this. Um, and then it doesn't mean that we have to have five waves over this side. In fact, you know, we could also take a look at this as uh, still looking for this downward side. Now, if I take this low point and I take this high point uh, using our fibs and we run this up to the high that we had yesterday. So this one just up here. Okay, this will actually indicate to us we could come down to 2831. Uh, however, we take a look at the stochastic, we can see that we've still got, um, you know, well, we're pretty low. We've got a little room to fall, but this is quite a big drop. So I'm not sure that's going to happen. Um, but if we come over to the four hourly, same concept, the eight hourly, same concept, the daily is quite high. So there's a little bit of room to the downside. It's just whether or not we're going to go all that way down here. It doesn't really have to. The only uh, thing that it really has to do is has to come down at least to our C wave, uh, which is over here, right? Um, so uh, if I zoom in on that, uh, we can get that price. Let me just grab my horizontal radius here uh, and it'll be this one. So uh, the minimum that we should be thinking about right now would be 2.952. OK, and uh, that would then allow us to draw this up slightly differently, uh, which would be that it would be a giant A wave down here. This being our B wave. And then we come down uh, to either at least here or come down a little bit lower to here. And of course, we have our A, B and C structure uh, from a slightly macro view. And if we take the measurements on this one as well, uh, we take it from here to here and we transpose that to a C wave just here. We're just going to zoom in, make sure we get this as close as I can. There we go. I'll put that back. Uh, this is then showing us exactly pretty much exactly the same uh 2.834 okay so we're right in that sign of sweet spot right there um <clears throat> and so what i'll do is i'm just going to pop a price label right on there and then i'm going to delete this fib off and then we got the second one uh, which comes in right here at three one and so you can see how we have these two uh, two price points uh, kind of coming in side by side here um, perfectly together, right? So this is kind of the area that we're, we're kind of thinking about um, in, in the sense of where we think our next move is potentially likely to come down to. Okay, so I can take that C and I can move it down into here, for example. I'll remove these ones because these were the fifth wave moves and that are no longer valid and I'll remove that as well. There we go. Tidies it up a little bit. And gives us a bit of a view and um, so that would actually complete the move down and then that would free us up to have our five wave move go up uh, and again that five wave move would basically be this one here allowing this entire thing as a zigzag pattern um, and then that y wave would essentially be complete over there okay uh, rather than being complete here okay so there's a few different options there that are going on that could be really really interesting 
um, and something to kind of look forward to. A uh, little bit of room to the downside, minimum being 2952, uh, most probable 2834 to 2831. Um, and then five wave move up, completing a one to one ratio uh, and a giant zigzag, which would be an A uh, up here, B down here, C wave up here, right? So you have that giant zigzag uh, pattern there. Um, so hopefully that makes sense. I will actually just tidy some of this off because um, I think it's important that we kind of zero in on just what's going on on the macro uh, for a moment there. And we have got this little low level here just triggered out as well. So we know if we drop down lower than that, uh, the zigzag would be invalidated as well. So uh, that's kind of where VeChain is right now. Um, looking at it and we've got a little bit of progression um, to be had here. We've got a lot of volatility <coughs> in the market as... Um, it's generally people are getting really bored and fed up of the not doing nothing but tra trading sideways uh, for the last few weeks. But, um, you know, this is a, a very, very difficult time to be in the market. Essentially, um, market makers and whales are just looking for any opportunity to um, accumulate. And uh, if retail investors are jumping in, uh, they are going to get wrecked pretty quickly, I do believe. Um, so, you know, at least from a, a leverage point of view, right? If you're just going to buy in dollar cost average and hodl, you're going to be okay. Um, but if you're using leverage, uh, yeah, you're, this is not the market for you, in my opinion. Um, and, but essentially, yeah, we're looking pretty good here um, with a good kind of potential zigzag pattern. This takes us up uh, reasonably decent levels. You're talking about 3.4. Um, before you know coming down into those low ranges again of, of 1.7 to 1.8 cent uh, in my opinion but guys i'm going to leave the video there if you have found this useful and informative hit the like button i really do appreciate that if you happen to be new to the channel then why not go ahead and subscribe tap the bell select all notifications and in doing so you will be kept up to date with absolutely everything that we do here at cheeky crypto with all that said done and out of the way i hope everyone has a fantastic day and i'll catch you all in the next one